pubis mound. Baby muffins. Secret note. Macaroni. One, two, three, four. Four. We made it. <laughs> Welcome to Hits We Dub. That was our whole goal. Four. The entire time. We're like, can we do four episodes? Yeah. Think we'll have enough content for that? Look we at did us. it. Look at us. We did it. Our last episode. Oh, <laughs> Canon it up. Find us online, Facebook, Instagram, at Is We Dumb. And you guys have been sending in a ton of segment content. Yeah. We've been laughing our asses off looking yes, at that. Thank you. Thank uh, you. And if whether it's a uh, would you rather mm-hmm. or something for dumb, dumb idiots, something today's, ridiculous. Today's one star comes right. from a, a fan. Yeah. And we've mm-hmm. got Suggestion. updates galore now. I mean, it's yeah, amazing. It's great. Uh, but you send that to dumb at iswedumb.com. Literally everything else. You can go to info. At isbedumb.com. Merch, isbedumb.com or badmagic uh, merch.com. And I've, we've been seeing some pictures of people yeah. posting the Is Be Dumb oh, so, yeah, shirts. Oh, yeah. All the shirts already. That's awesome. Yay. Uh, I'm Dan Cummins, by the way. Oh, yeah. Who am I? You're Joe Paisley. If we see, if we see, if the interesting, we've, it's been tech problems nonstop this morning. Mm-hmm. So we're, I think we're doing good. I'm, I'm expecting, there's been a lot of restarts. I'm expecting the table to catch on fire. Mm-hmm. Like some are just going to blow up. We're going to get ejected <laughs> and they'll just see you tomorrow. Yeah. Like at that perfect, point. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. You land at your house. I'll fucking go back to mine. <laughs> and I'll get see you on Tuesday. I like it. I like uh, it. New episodes of Is Be Dumb every Wednesday at noon. Uh, we have to give a big old thank you right now mm-hmm. to, to Pandora. Yes, Pandora is uh, giving us a, a big old boost. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're on Pandora now, and they're and they're giving us run, running an ad for us uh, across Pandora's comedy station. So thank mm-hmm. you, Pandora, for the for the love. It's amazing what five hand jobs can get you. It's amazing. It's <laughs> fucking great. They, mm-hmm. But we're glad to have you. Glad to have you all the Pandora <laughs> listeners. Uh, before we kick things off with the very super most important starting question, we do have a couple updates. Yeah. Um, first, my mom moving around the silverware in the kitchen. Like, yeah, I, I yeah. felt really alone on that last yeah. week. I've just, everyone I brought it up to in my life, in my uh-huh. circle, was like, nah, man, that shit's nuts. I right, mean, right. can't relate. And I'm like, ah, that's the end of the conversation. But apparently it's pretty common. At least a dozen people have written and explaining similar <laughs> situations, whether it's their in-laws, uh, yeah. you know, their own moms, or someone like a friend uh, will come over and just like move shit. But it, I mm-hmm. guess it's way more common than than I thought, and that makes me of, feel a lot better about my mom and her mental state. A lot of boundary crossers out there. Yeah, mm-hmm. I can't imagine doing that shit. I can't either. Uh, and then something else we talked about, and this came in from a a fellow dummy. I can't I can't remember if this was episode one or two, but we were trying to we were talking about Salvia. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So an anonymous dummy wrote in who is works in a pharmacy to give mm-hmm. us a little bit of this, this information here. Okay, some science. Yeah. So as a current intern pharmacist and former drug experimenter, uh-huh. which me too, okay. put it on the resume, uh, it really hurt my ears to listen to you guys try to figure out the difference between spice and salvia. Like, holy shit. I love you both, but goddamn, know what drugs you're doing before you do them. Uh, yeah, that's I, true. I, I, to, to, to be fair, I haven't done either one. Right. So. I, I did. And I, I'm ashamed. I should. I 100 probably should know what I was so what, doing. So what is the difference? Does he uh, say? Yes. That was it. What if that was the end of it? <laughs> <laughs> you guys should probably know the difference. Th- thanks, you guys. Anyway, love the show. Uh, what? But that didn't help Wait, at all. Get out of here. Salvia is a natural plant. Um, it's psychedelic properties, short duration of action. Huh. In layman terms, this means you're unconscious while you're tripping balls, but it only lasts a short time. Still, in order to achieve the trip, the drug has to be super concentrating, meaning the active ingredient has to be exper- or extracted multiple times. If you remember correctly, salvia is 15 times to 30 times to get that trip. Oh. So it's like super concentrated. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, spice is K2. It's a synthetic marijuana. Right. Uh, which just sucks and you should avoid it at all costs. If you've seen any <laughs> videos of people like using spice when yeah. they do too much, that's it. It's a demon. It just, like, it just short circuits their brain? Yeah, they're flopping around, biting shit. Weird. It's like trying to eat their arms, like doing get all bouncy in the parking lot and everyone's <laughs> laughing and filming them. And that was the one, and is that one illegal now? Do you happen to know that one? I think that one because that's the one that was legal. I think then became legal. I think. I mean, I mean, I'm sorry. But then became illegal. Like, like it was. Yeah, this, I think so. Yeah, it was like and they sold keep as on, this, and in that world, like the whole laboratory drug world, where they keep they twisting keep, it, twisting the formula. Yeah. So it's like it's it's like oh no, it's not that. It's this the two, mm-hmm. like point nine. They just barely change it so that the uh, the court systems can't keep up with it. This could all be avoided if just all drugs were legal. <laughs> You're telling me. And I, I don't know if this tells me or, or says anything about my circle of friends, but uh, I never even, like, even if it was legal or, uh, like, illegal, it yeah. doesn't change my mind at all about drugs. It's like right. it's like whether I like them or not. Right, right. <laughs> like, that's it. 
I don't know what it's like. Oh yeah, I shouldn't do that. It's illegal. I'm like, that yeah, never crossed my mind. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not I don't care either. Fucking yeah, that kind of stuff, morality stuff. I'm just like, whatever. Right, I, right. I mean, like, yeah, you can get in trouble. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, I I I hate government oversight of that kind of stuff. It's right. like, don't don't tell me because then I know there's the argument of like, yeah, but if you legalize it, then some idiot you know will overdose. I don't care. Right. That, it's I, this. I, they did it. Right. That's their fault. <laughs> that 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 stuff drives me crazy in general. Like I don't know why it made me flash on. Uh, I don't know if you've bought a gas container in the last like ten years. Yeah, just I to have. pour in your lung. And they have oh, all these yeah. crazy safety things where you gotta like you gotta twist the nozzle <laughs> and push it in wall and and ironically like it makes it way more dangerous because I. In a normal gas kind of nozzle, <laughs> I can pour it in just fine every time. Yeah. But with the new crazy convoluted system, which is all done specifically so some fucking idiot won't just drink it right. out of out of the container, mm-hmm. then it makes it way more dangerous. It it's, reminds me, uh, you know those Japanese puzzles? Safety precautions. Yeah, that you yeah. see like on a coffee table. And it's like the ring over the stick and the rope. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. yeah that's what you have to do every time, just to, like pour gas. <laughs> like, what the fuck is happening? Twisty it, the mm-hmm. boop dap. You're playing the bop it game? Yep. Twist and pull it, bop it, twig it. I, and I end up just getting like a screwdriver and a knife <laughs> and just tearing out the insides to make it what I want every time anyway. I, know, I see it. Yeah. I, see, I, 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 I also can't. see you doing that and then just getting a drill and just mm-hmm. putting your own hole in it. Mm-hmm. You're like, mm-hmm. fucking fine. <laughs> there. There. It works now. Works now. It's super safe. Uh, he wraps up this. He goes, it's, not, it's just my medical opinion. If you want to get high and you have nothing to lose, just smoke weed. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's all I got. Peace and love. Don't do drugs unless you know what drugs you're doing. I like that. Don't do drugs unless you know what drugs you're doing. Right. And so I found a, a video. This mm-hmm. was also sent in. Let me go uh, figure out who sent it in first here. Yes. Okay. Alex McCaslin. Alex McCaslin. And this is a, a series that I have never seen before. Okay. Um, this guy reminds me of friends that I've grown up with, but he does things and then he just does them on salvia. <laughs> uh, and I just want to take a peek here about okay. how, how wrong or how quickly things can go bad. Doing okay. salvia. Okay, I'm perfect. lucky that I got away with just doing a duck walk down the hallway. Yeah. Like thinking everything was shrinking. Sure. When you see this, you're like, oh yeah, you fucking got out of that. Okay. okay. All right, let's bring it up on the screen, Zach. So Thank you. Sitting. Zach was lightning fast. Lightning fast. He's sitting on the ground. He's okay. getting ready to garden. Gardening on salvia. Here we go. Hello, and welcome to Gardening on Salvia. I'm <laughs> Eric, your host. Today, we're going to learn how to plant a curry plant in our garden on salvia. Now, I picked out a great spot in my garden, and what I want to do is I'm going to make a hole that's about mm, about 10 centimeters deep, about 5 centimeters on each side, and that plant's going to fit perfectly inside there. So he's looking very professional right now for the ground, We're going to fill it in with some miracle Grow, some soil from the garden itself, and we're going to water it, and then we're going to make sure that it's doing okay with a little bit of uh, pH test. <laughs> Just so professional. Over. I love it. Yeah. First, step one is we're going to smoke our salvia. <laughs> it's going to kill I didn't you. even know you smoked it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so he's hitting a big bong, bong big bong rip of salvia. Rip of salvia. Yeah, you can hear it. He's got a little gardening hat on, just sitting crisscross in the garden. Super chill. He's got the garden is behind him. You want right. to hold that in until your vision begins to vibrate. <laughs> which, which I feel like, if the instructions are holding into your vision vibrates, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done it. Right. Like, right. <laughs> I, I'm glad no one gave me that instruction because I'd have been fucked. Now, does he get super messed up here? Oh God. And then we're gonna go. Yeah, and I just paused it to oh, talk about so that for a second. I found a nice spot right here. Okay. That I think I'm gonna dig into. How long does it take for this stuff to kick in? You remember when you did it? Yeah, it was pretty quick. Quick. So you'll see. (laughs) It's not gonna be a time lapse. He just like immediately just gets messed up. Wow, it's been like 30 seconds, and he seems like he's having trouble with the spade. Can't shovel. Can't see. Wow, why is he twitching? He just dropped the spade. Oh, he almost fell over and hit his head on Mm -hmm. some bricks. Jesus. (laughs) You don't think he's faking it? This is really how it hits you. This is yeah. I've seen it. My God. This okay, so he's too. laying. Oh, and Zach said this is what happened to him too. He's yeah. laying on the ground, his arms out. Like yep. it looks like he's OD. I know. Now he's starting to kind of <laughs> laugh. He just yep. Anyway, La- oh. laying on the ground. He just Does that he, fast. That made fast. him just pass out. So Thirty anyway, seconds. He almost passes out. Right. So then he sits up and he tries to like get back into the routine again, which is super funny. He's like <laughs> slapping the shovel around a little bit. Then you can go ahead and. Oh, he's um, messed up. Um, can't talk. Did you play on the ground? <laughs> play on the ground. <laughs> play on the ground. Anyway, that's that it. was so fast. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, Man. don't do drugs unless you unless you know what you're doing. Like that is definitely the uh, the lesson to take away here. I, I don't know if that makes you not want to do it or want makes wants to make me do it. Just because that that's such that was almost instantaneous. Isn't that scary? That's terrifying. If you uh, yeah if you if you don't have a good trip and it goes bad for you, <sighs> you, you there's no time to back out. Right. Zero time. 
for, well, and, and I guess I guess once you've ingested something, you can't eat it, but at least you can be sure. like, it's a slower descent, right? And you can kind of psychologically be like, okay, this Here is not go. going, well, but I can I can go to a safer environment, mm-hmm. I can relax. Mm-hmm. That it's like, nope, wherever yep. you are, that's where you're going to be, I guess. Yeah, and he does other videos like driving on Salvia, oh. which luckily he doesn't drive. He sits there and he's, he's like, he tried to, and then he just lays in the car seat. <laughs> 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 he can't get the keys in. He's like, all right, that's oh it. Oh, my God. Uh, but that's, I mean, that's a, you know, good for him. Good for him. Good for uh, him. And then you also got a bunch of updates, too. I saw about, uh, you weren't alone on the Stephen King. Yeah, mis- a lot of, lot of that's people. That's ridiculous. A lot of people have done the uh, thinking it's going to be one long story. Mm-hmm. Find out it's uh, multiple stories when they get so confused halfway into the second story. Right. And specifically on that book. So uh-huh. I was not yeah. alone on If It yeah. Bleeds by Stephen King. So that's awesome. Yeah. And again, Thank just, you, guys. You know, yeah, reach out to us, socials, uh, and send this stuff into our email addresses. We love it. Yeah. Should we move yeah. on? Let's move on. Very super most important starting question. The very super most important starting question. And speaking of things yeah. that were sent into us, um, yes. let's see here. Yeah, this is dummy Jacob Whitting who sent this in. And this is probably just in the essence of it by itself. Okay. One of the funniest would you rathers okay. I have ever seen in my life. Okay. Zach, let's bring it up on the screen. Zach, bring up the fuck. Oh, there it is. There it is. Would you rather change gender every time you sneezed or never be able to tell the difference between babies and muffins. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Uh, never be able to tell the difference between babies and muffins. <laughs> you can hmm. never you can never go to a bakery. No, you can never. Well, yeah, and, and ever. S- what you interesting about that one walk- is... <laughs> Do you do the muffins look like babies or do the babies look like muffins? It's, that's your that's your problem. We got to we got to establish that. I, they're muffin babies. Do they look different anyway? They're pretty much the same thing. No, but <laughs> I, I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. know. I think it's just or or you just or you can never trust. It just kind of like one can look like like a baby could look like a baby and be a baby, right. or the baby could look like a muffin and be a baby. Exactly. Right. Right. Or the, that's, or that's the muffin my... could be a muffin. Like you, 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 there's always uncertainty. Like I pick up a, a six pack of mm-hmm. muffins at Costco and like right. I could, could be a six pack of babies. And I wonder. Let's take it. For, like let's really establish that. Like when you grab a muffin that is really a baby and your brain can't decipher, <laughs> it has to feel the same as a muffin. Yeah. So it's like a magic thing. You can't tell the yeah, difference. Which is all these hypotheticals. It's like a magic. So like. <laughs> So you have to really carefully start to bite into the muffin, <laughs> and then I guess you'd have to always eat. You know, you have to always eat muffins around other people. It's yeah. like, is this safe to eat? And you have to be around people you trust. That's a baby shower. If you it's need a muffin, baby, yeah, muffins at a baby shower, you mm-hmm. got to go. Well, yeah, yeah, because you, you're gonna fucking eat a baby. Like you, you got to be. You just have to be super careful. every yeah. every time you go to take a bite. This is a muffin, right? Well, yeah. What are you saying? <laughs> Can this, you imagine? Am I holding a muffin or a baby? You'd have no friends. Right? If, they're like, what the? F- I, why are you so concerned? Is this a muffin or a baby? It's a fucking muffin. You're like, thank God. Like, <laughs> right. <"Pup, that>, come. <laughs> right. If, they, right. if you misjudge that one time, you're going to prison. <laughs> right. And then couldn't they run? I, I mean, I guess they could run tests. Like, what a weird defense. You're like, Your <laughs> Honor, he suffers from uh, muffin infantitalis. Infl- infantitalis. What? It's a very specific disease <laughs> where he cannot tell the difference between muffins and babies. <laughs> See, exhibit A. He takes the sheet off a little chart. Right, and he goes, right. What's this, Joe? Uh, muffin? Mm-hmm. It's a fucking baby. It's a baby. See, I rest, I rest my case. Right, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Jerry's like, fuck it, what? <laughs> uh, can I go home? In the sneeze and changing gender, that's interesting. This one, I, hmm. what, so what defines gender in this case? Is my is my peen becoming a V G? Like, it's just, that's the flopping? So. Like, so the change? I would think and you're- some, And some boobies? I would think the whole thing. Like, like, does my like, hair change? And, like, you just yeah. all get... Okay, so I'm just... You're I'm new, female me. You sneeze, and then you're female... Jo- like, one of those um, apps where they, like, you know... I don't know. Make your friends hot and you feel weird? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one of those faces. I know those Whatever, whatever those, are, those are called. Yeah, I, th- I think it's like that. I think you sneeze, and you're full woman. Sneeze again, you're full man. So... <laughs> How much fun is that? I know. You I... Sne- but you better hope you sneeze twice. Mm-hmm. But even if they're super rapid, that's... Oh, man, that'd be so funny to watch. Just like, just, and then right right back to you. And then, (laughs) welcome back, Dan. Where's Danielle? And what about like a mid-sex sneeze? (laughs) Like how disturbing for the person you're with. Just from sex to scissoring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just from from hammering away, (laughs) just to slapping pubis mound against butt. Just you just go from like a, a fantastic sex just to just to a weird <laughs> vagina slap on right. on their ass. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what 
and boob, I, boob size man. is big too. Like that. Boob size. Uh, you know, if it's a small little boob change. Mm-hmm. But if we're if we're going full, like my hair changes, everything changes. I'm wearing new clothes. Like, is that how far this thing goes? <laughs> right, right. Like total swap. Oh man, yeah. What if like y'all said you wear no a hot died. outfit? Oh yes. Like, there's so many variations of this. Where <laughs> well, I said that really weird. Did you notice <laughs> oh, that? Yeah, you're like fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we say, hold on. What are you wearing? What, okay, tell me how hot is this? Which is kind of disturbing because it's like we're talking about ourselves. <sighs> yeah, is it leather? Oh man, if I if I could sneeze and become just a different looking, like okay, there's so many things here to <laughs> consider. It, this this would you rather is uh, it's great, it's great brain teaser. Yeah, kills me because if if all of a sudden I could flip genders and also look not like myself. Yeah, like if I could just be in a hot woman's body mm-hmm. essentially and then come back and it was short term, then I would do that and I would just masturbate all the time. <laughs> right, I would just play with my female parts. Sneeze so much. once, sneeze once, and then go get surgery and never sneeze again. <laughs> like that's just what you wanted to be. You feel at home. You're great now. <laughs> right, yeah, you're, right. you're all set. Oh my god! What <sighs> drag show would be a trip. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You could kill it. I mean, but it wouldn't really be a drag show. You'd be cheating. <laughs> yeah, well, because sure. you actually are a woman. If you sneeze, so, that... so you're not even you're not even in drag. You yeah. just are. You're just a woman. Now. You have some friends around you that would you could trust. So they're mm-hmm. not going to throw pepper on you and make you sneeze all day and just <laughs> right. A chew, a chew, a chew. <laughs> if it was short term, if it was short term, I would want to be able to sneeze and change genders, and then I would do uh, all kinds of unnatural things with myself. Okay. If uh, long term, I would rather just not be able to tell the difference between babies and muffins. Okay. Because then I can avoid babies and muffin areas. Well, babies and muffins. <laughs> right. If you mess that up, you're going to kill a baby or eat a baby. Right. Um, can you lick the muffin? I just, I just never eat a muffin after that. Okay. And, I, and I never hold a muffin. I never eat a baby. I never touch. I know. I never touch. Eat. I just stay the fuck away from all muffins and babies. And I have a great excuse. Might be the best life ever. Might be the best life ever. Like, you can hold my baby. Fuck no, I can't. I'll fucking eat it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't well, trust myself. I don't trust myself around that muffin. You mean that little blueberry muffin you're holding <laughs> in that bassinet? Yeah, it looks delicious. I learned my lesson. <laughs> right, right. I just got out from a ten year sentence for licking a baby. <laughs> but I thought it was a muffin. <laughs> like so, I'm I, I'm all set. Thank you very much. Can you imagine approach, approaching random moms. Oh my god, it's adorable. Uh, what is that? Was that cranberry walnut? What? Ah, man, how fresh is that? How fresh is that? What are you talking about? <laughs> the fresh ass cranberry walnut baby you got there. Mm. Man, I fucking eat the shit out of that just, with some coffee. Just licking your lips. Oh man, <laughs> I had something like that for breakfast yesterday. <laughs> Point to someone's baby. <laughs> That's beautiful. Where'd you get that chocolate muffin? They're like, what? What are you what? talking about? So, so I guess my choice. Uh, is is I, I don't I would rather not be able to tell the difference between a bu- muffin and a baby if we have to pick long term, which <sighs> these usually are. I think. Okay, yeah. So what's long term? I'm going the other way. I'm for going the rest the of your life. Mm-hmm. Every time you sneeze, freak show. Mm. I'm just gonna be. I'll be a super weird dude. I'll find somebody who's into me, mm-hmm. flopping back and forth between I'm sure teens and my G's. Oh yeah, I think you'd have lots of potential suitors. Because I, I mean, it's not that I love muffins, but I, I'd be so scared. I mm-hmm. live life terrified of muffins and babies, and they're everywhere. <laughs> It's like a really common thing, these muffins and babies. Right, right. Like maybe okay. top three most common things that I see in my life is muffins and babies. Mu- muffins and babies. Mm-hmm. So I got to go the other way. Okay, okay, okay. So, I who, mean, so are you right? Who's right? Oh, uh, well, who do you... Uh, we're, both, we're both wrong. We're both... Okay. <laughs> we're both wrong. That I, was... I mean, I this is crazy. Up. That was good. That, that was, was good. amazing. I got my brain going. Yeah, for sure. And um, oh. now before we go and take a look at the dumb stuff that we found on the internet... Yeah. I got to look inside. Got to look... And yeah. we know what that's called. Mm-hmm. Is we dumb? Uh, yes. This is one of one of my most embarrassing moments that okay. I've done like in a in a long time. Okay. Uh, so as people know, or maybe they don't know. I guess if you follow on other stuff or follow me on socials, whatever it is, yeah. I've been working my ass off on a yard project, right? Right. So right. my side yard, yeah, I uh, was a chicken coop, and then all my chickens got murdered, and then it just turned into a shithole. Like it was just, right. it was like, hey, you right. guys want to come see where all the weeds grow? Yeah. And I have mounds of like chicken shit and that's over here. Look at it. You like my, come to my house more. <laughs> this is fun over here. So completely redid it. Okay. Put in a bunch of patios, new fence, yard, the works, a bunch of flower boxes, all this mm-hmm. kind of stuff. And it looks great. And it looks great. That part's definitely not dumb. I said, okay, fine. You did a great job. Right. So the setup here is I'm getting to the, uh, the final stages of, of making this my outdoor living space. Okay. My, my palace, my, my comfortable place to go and relax. Yeah. So I went online and bought this uh, pretty giant Bluetooth speaker. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> and this thing was appealing to me because it is loud. If you play guitar or music, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a, one of the little like personal amps. Okay. You know, if I can foot by a foot, like a crate, you know? Yeah, yeah. And um, 
It connects the Bluetooth, like a long ass range. You can connect up to like seven of them if you right. want to really blast like an outdoor party, whatever. So I get sure. this thing and it's super loud. I get it out there. I'm with my kids and we're getting it set up. I connect my phone and we're out there, you know, messing out in the yard and music's playing fine. And the last thing we did before we went inside for lunch yeah. was um, started like giving them their, 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 these loud dance jams. So they could do a dance routine on the other side of the yard where the grass is. Oh, so okay. this thing is bumping. Right. I'm proud of it. Mm -hmm. It's very loud. All your neighbors hate your guts so right. much. Right, right. Okay. Especially because of what we were playing. I mean, it was just nonsense. It was like <laughs> Aqua, Barbie Girl at, you know, blow your right. windows out volume. Right. Okay. And uh, so we go inside yeah. and, I'm, and I'm making lunch, cooking some eggs, I believe. And I'm standing there and one of my buddies, uh, who I'm, I'm not going to out right now, but... We, we find funny-ass porn clips sure. that we just send to each other. Okay, okay. It's super, whatever it is. Like, some ridiculous thing. Like, a, it shouldn't, that shouldn't fit in there, and you yeah. shouldn't be doing that, and why are you on the ceiling? Sure. And all that, you know, stuff like that. So, I'm, I'm pushing play on it, right? Yeah. In my kitchen while I'm cooking eggs. I'm like, what the? I'm turning up the volume as loud as I can. And I keep tapping it. I'm like, that's fucking weird. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, well, maybe it just doesn't have any volume. So, I just watch it. And it gets towards the end. You hear just this, ah! And I'm like, what? And at that moment, I realized my phone is still connected to the Bluetooth mm -hmm. speaker in yep. my side yard. Yep. Turned up to 30. So the and whole neighborhood's getting whole some Whole neighbor noises. is just hearing the loudest running and sandals flop, oh, flopping, right. stirring mac and cheese noises right. on, uh, through a megaphone. Just, ah, ah, yeah. ah yeah. And I can't hear it till that final one just goes. And I was so, I, I started laughing so hard because I was so embarrassed. One, I was so thankful my kids yeah. weren't out there still. Like maybe I was like, Daddy's gonna go make lunch. Sit out here and listen to this porn track. Oh my uh, God. And my wife was still sleeping. She probably would have gotten a kick out of it. But um, I, I guess got out. I completely escaped it. Uh, I'm sure some neighbor was very oh, yeah. confused because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it was. I mean, it was loud, as loud now, as it could go. I I have a I have a question on here. D do your neighbors ever call the police on you? Uh, no, they haven't yet. Okay. I, uh, cause, they should because because I'm I'm thinking like uh, I want to call you out for for being what sounds like maybe a terrible neighbor. Okay, just what's your plan of like? Okay, the kids are going to be in another part of the yard, so rather than move the speaker closer to the kids, I'm just going to fucking crank right the volume for everyone to hear. Right, but to my defense, <laughs> okay, I just got it, and it was for <laughs> like no defense. It was like maybe ten minutes. At oh, like, oh, okay, and okay, it wasn't eleven okay. at night. It was noon. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> how mad are you going to get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it was it wasn't like you know it wasn't a house party. You didn't set it up that way. I thought I thought you were just like yeah, yeah. So the kids are gonna be friends. So, <laughs> no. so in order to get the noise to make it to the kids, obviously I have to fucking crank this yeah. outdoor speaker for everyone to hear. Right. I, mean, I can't just move it over there. I can't. I have to go get an what am I supposed to do? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Move it to where they are? That's like saying if you go to a dance club, <laughs> like they need to just fucking turn it all down because I'm right here next to the speaker. Like no one wants to go to a dance club with just the right amount of volume. <laughs> Like, oh, that's pleasant. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> if you're going to be dancing, it's got to be bumping. Uh, sure. Yeah, sure, you know, sure. super soft. You can still hear, like, your clothes shuffling while you're dancing. <laughs> that's not loud enough, Dan. Right, you gotta right. You got to turn that shit up. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, that was super embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... And we talk a little bit about um, Bluetooth gets a lot of people, because you're the host of Time Suck. Yeah. And people call it getting uh, Cummins Laud. Yeah, Cummins Laud. Bluetooth's a lot of problems. Right. And I remember hearing about it before that show just with porn and stuff like that. Oh, Those yeah. kind of stories. So and I've people... heard about it, too. I oh, never thought it would happen to me. Ever. F funniest one I, I heard of is a guy who kept doing it. Uh, it kept happening over and over again. He just kept like he couldn't. He was trying to troubleshoot when he would play <laughs> this uh, whatever. He's porn watching on his computer or whatever. Right. He's like, where is it going? And he couldn't find the volume. <laughs> yeah. And he, but, but he did it like over and over and over. And it was his neighbor. Ooh. He kept It kept connecting somehow to his neighbors. I don't even know how that's possible to their <laughs> smart something. Right. And so he's blasting hardcore porn in his neighbor's house. I don't even know tech-wise how that could ever happen. I, I don't Nightmare. Know. It's amazing, though. Can you Pretty imagine funny. that situation? Yeah. God if damn I, it. If I could hook it up to my Kevin. neighbors, <laughs> if I could be sneaky, out, I, I, would, I would do that all the time. Just Pop to, over there. And then you just have to never admit to it. I guess you just have to be over like, to that speaker one time. Like if you can get your phone to control yeah, it one yeah, time, yeah. If you're close to that, or whatever, like that, and you hit, yeah, that you one just pop setup outside the, yeah. Weird. You could you could really wreck my life if you happen <laughs> to pop over and connect to my speaker, right? Oh and yeah, you just had control of it, like in my mm -hmm. the radius. I oh man, you could drive oh, that'd be me such insane. a funny prank to mess with so somebody. Good. Yeah, ah, oh. pretty good, pretty good, pretty so good. I, good felt, stuff. I felt really dumb. Okay, well, um, that, was, that was good. Thank you for for sharing that. But also very funny. Yes, let's yes. look at other dumb people. Okay, okay, I'm in. Okay, dumb dumb idiots. Let's go, Zach. Dumb. Uh, all right. 
this trend yeah. has started a long time ago. And as it progressed, I think we all had high hopes for voice controlled devices. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I thought for sure maybe they'd be working a little bit better than they are right now. Like the right. most I would I use it for right now is maybe finding a word that I don't know how to fucking spell or yeah. sending a text while you're driving. Right. Right? Right. Outside of that, it still sucks. It's it's amazing, but it still sucks so much that you don't use it. Like if you have any other option, yeah. you're going to use the other option. I, n- I never I never use it. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Hey Siri, open Safari. Right. Like no, I'm just going to tap my fucking thumb on the Safari thing yeah. and not annoy everybody around me by by screaming at my phone, right? Yeah. So I mean, so, yeah. Some, it, some people it, love it. I I I don't cuz it never understands what I'm trying to say. <laughs> And so it always goes to like, did you mean, or it's not the same sentence, like just based on the way I talk, I guess. <laughs> and and then I end up being like, God damn it, you fuck piece of shit. And then it just like, it's a kid. It, it Google's God damn it, you fucking piece of shit. I'm like, no. And then I just like, give up. It, it, it just it probably gives up too. Yeah, I it's ask, like, it doesn't get it right. I swear it gets that right. And then I quit. Let's try again next time, Dan. And then it just <laughs> sends you like a link to like hooked on phonics or something. Right. Like, exactly. You fuck it, bitch. <laughs> Siri. Um, so, so taking that to the to the next level yeah. is so dumb to me. And I came across this uh, uh, this fucking product that drove me crazy. Let's go ahead and bring it up on the screen. This is a voice mm-hmm. activated patio umbrella. What? Like fucking what? Who needs that? No one. Um, out of all the things that could be voice activated, <laughs> why the fuck is a patio umbrella a part of it? Anyway, virtually right. every aspect of home life is being upgraded with smart technology which makes the new the news of the Shadecraft Bloom understandable as brands look to take connectivity to the immediate area surrounding a house. <laughs> Device works by being attached uh, onto any existing patio <laughs> parasol and instantly goes to work adding voice control functionality through Amazon Alexa along with the further control via the accompanying app. Users can take advantage of the integrated Bluetooth speakers and stay entertained while enjoying the outside and also capable of charging devices via built-in USB ports. Which, that sounds good. Right. Right? The charging, like, you're like, okay, I have a little charging mm-hmm, thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, how's that thing getting power? You want to, you, you ready to run a fucking extension cord out to your patio umbrella? Right, you got to have a plug-in nearby. Mm-hmm. I, that's beautiful. Ah. I mean, that, nothing says, like, nothing makes me more happy than just running a fucking orange extension cord out to my patio umbrella to make sure I can charge my phone while I sit there. <laughs> right, right. Like, it just creates an additional problem. How about just have a fucking Bluetooth speaker? <laughs> Instead of a patio umbrella that plays music, yeah. So the, yeah, I, I just don't. And, and then the, the as far yeah, exactly. And and then the whole thing of like it opening and closing right. based on Bluetooth commands that just sounds like a nightmare. Where <laughs> where it's it's going to like I, I just picture sometimes when you're talking conversation and you accidentally say a word that comes close to Siri, uh-huh. and, and then all of a sudden your phone lights up. I was on a podcast just uh, last week, and that happened. Not to me, to the person whose uh, podcast they were ho- they were hosting it, and they were like they said Susan, and all of a sudden there's uh, Siri says whatever she says when she like starts up, and they're like, and they're like oh god dang, I thought this was off, blah blah blah. <laughs> <laughs> I just picture like on the on the patio, you know, every time you're like, what, what was his name again? Boost, <laughs> Bloom, Bloom, right? We, we we know we're just like I don't know if there's just not enough room, and it just starts shutting down. You're like no 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 Bloom, back up, back up, and then it goes back up, and then I mean I, I guess they found some kind of tomb. No, night back. No, no, stop! Like, and and then it's just, just sitting there and like every <laughs> right. bloom, stop, bloom, Both no, back, you, bloom. Like you're trying to be proud of it, right? Like you just bought it and you're trying to find yeah. a reason that it doesn't fucking suck. Like we all do with like a new thing that you buy. You're right. like, oh, no, it's it's fine. I'm a little quirky, yeah. but it's it's fine. And the, everyone just the whole family's just always like back and forth, like eating dinner and dodging mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. umbrella as it folds down. Hits you with a mouthful of food, like, fucking bloom. <laughs> and it had an option too, where it said um, it will have it has a sensor mm-hmm. that'll detect the amount of wind and like and, and the weather yep. and, and sh- open and close. Or you just have a very simple device, like they've had for a hundred years with these things, where you easily pull up along the pole <laughs> uh-huh. and set it, or the little cranky, like, or, or the crank. Mm-hmm. Those are way better options. That's just a weird. This is yeah, like it's technology so where weird. it's not needed. Why the fuck are you doing? You're this? You're just complicating your life. Exactly. I uh, imagine like uh, right before bed, uh, mm-hmm. like me, I open up my my kitchen window. Hey, Bloom, shut. That's <laughs> the last thing my neighbors hear. Right, right. And then you say, okay. And then, they're thank just, you. They're just taking too far. I think, about, like, you know, well, you know, just being around, even just before the show, I have a very bad temper when it comes to tech. I immediately <laughs> go, go to, like, Code Red Rage and it's, stuff. It's one of my favorite parts of me. <laughs> I, I just picture, like, futuristic me, just old man me, 
just nothing, just a, like a Yosemite Sam, <laughs> just a constant anger and profanity where I'm in a house where everything is smart controlled that I don't want. And, you know, and I'm just like, oven, uh, God damn, oven, turn on. <laughs> And, and then all of a sudden, like the, the coffee the, pot, the, the po- coffee, coffee pot, pot and then the air conditioner, the not air conditioner, no air conditioner off, oven on, God damn it, patio door, <laughs> fuck you, patio door, no, and, and then <laughs> sandwich maker, stop it, dog, get out, <laughs> which, which is like open dog door, ah, god damn it, Roomba, <laughs> clean up dog piss, right. fuck. <laughs> just losing your absolute mind and then you finally get it under control and the last thing you hear is your patio umbrella opening during a windstorm <laughs> oh fuck you just see it like flying across the window I was, goodbye Dan goodbye I was gonna go way darker and the last words anyone uh, would hear from me is just like I can't take it anymore gun activate <laughs> and then there's just a gunshot and then that's it that's it for me the wrong gun <laughs> <laughs> and then it shoots me in the god damn it you just shot my fucking ear off <laughs> You're supposed to get rid of me. I can't even get this thing Sorry. to kill me correctly. Please reload. Please reload. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it, and it all comes back to that same thing, too, that I don't understand about the, uh, uh, and maybe, I mean, if you have the money to spend on it, yeah. then uh, whatever. Like, <laughs> right. go fucking do it. Right, but like I guess. These, these refrigerators mm-hmm. that have the, like, the screen on them. Right. I mean, we've all seen these. Yeah. I like, can drop pictures on it, and that's right. cute. You know, my kids get bored with it okay. in five minutes when they get to yeah. demo it at the store. So you can probably see how far that would go when they get home. Right. And it, like, it has the camera on it. This guy, we were buying a fridge a while ago, and he was trying to sell me on it. Yeah. And he goes, look. He goes, you can see what's in your fridge without opening the door. And like puts the camera on, and it shows me what's in my fridge. I was like, or I can just okay. open the door. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, that's it? Yeah. That's the fucking selling point? Is I don't have to open it and let the cold air out? It's like, ah, oh, fuck off. Like, I'm not paying, I'm not yeah, paying $800 more to just look at, like, and that'll break. How about just get that off my fucking fridge so I don't right. have to fix it every time it goes out? I know. They, they, yeah, it, it just it doesn't make sense in some of these things. We where... sound so old right now. Man, we're just like, go to fucking, don't have to leave my fridge alone. <laughs> but, I, but I just, I, I thought about that when I was like uh, 20, you know, uh-huh. like that on options, even like for like cars, it's like the more bells and whistles you have, the more things that can go wrong. Mm-hmm. I would always think that just because of my own frustrations, but some of these things like, like I love something, we, our sprinkler system hooked up to an app. Mm-hmm. Love it. Right. Uh, our air conditioner heating hooked up to an app. Love it. Mm-hmm. Like being able to to do stuff or our security system. We can do a lot of things. We can lay in bed, change the air conditioning. We can make sure our security system's on. We can make sure the sprinklers are going when we're out of town. Yep. All that stuff is good. I don't need my fucking microwave to be hooked up to Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 Wi-Fi toaster, which exists. It's like, what are you doing? Right. Uh, what's the point? Why? why right. you, I'm, oh, I'm going to surprise someone and, and put the toaster on when I'm across the country. <laughs> and there's a clear uh, divide know. in my brain, at least, between Bluetooth right. and voice activated. Oh yeah, and, like, and also again, that. we're back to the like the touchy. Yeah, and that's yeah. like that's fine. I'm choosing True. it. I'm not screaming at inanimate objects that will yeah. never understand me. Maybe they'll figure it out and be super smart in 20 years, where you don't have to like Xbox turn on TV. Sure. Oh yeah, it, and it doesn't sure. work. <laughs> Xbox right turn on TV, and mm-hmm. then it, like turns it on and then immediately turns it back off because it sends the wrong right. two signals. And like it'll okay, get better. I'll just get up and push it. Like right. I mean, Mm-hmm. I think it needs, they need crazier names. Then I know we got to move on. That's all right. I think they need crazier names like Alexa and then, you know, Siri. Mm-hmm. Something that doesn't sound like anything else that you would never say. Like, like you have to specifically say like, like ask fuck, ask fuck, ask fucker punch goblin 47. <laughs> and then you get to make a command because you're never going <laughs> to accidentally say that. Uh, well, <laughs> well <laughs> depends maybe. on what you're into. <laughs> what if, if it's in the bedroom. For me, at least, it's, gonna, it's, it's going off all the time. Right. <laughs> Ass fuck goblin forty seven. That's just <laughs> instead of calling me daddy, that's what she calls me. Uh, all right, let's move on to this next okay. story that I found. Um, this is crazy to me because I can see myself doing something like this. Okay, just because of the dipshit that I am. And this story is not new by any means. Okay. I've seen it floating around. Yeah, but it has to be addressed because it's crazy. All right, you ready for this? Sure. Uh, bring it up on the screen, Zach. This lawyer fell at a skyscraper window to his death while trying to prove that it was unbreakable. Oh, yeah. I've seen you this. Remember this? I remember the story, too. Yeah. Yes. So back on uh, July 9th, 1993, Toronto lawyer Gay- Gary Hoy was doing his favorite party trick, hurling himself at the office window to show that they're, you know, they're strong. Right. But this time, right. his stunt failed. <laughs> Gary Hoy was fascinated by the physical robustness of modern architecture so much, he uh, regularly performed a party trick in which he would throw his full body weight 
against the window of his office building to prove just how strong they were. As it turns out, uh, he should not have been so confident. So in short, he went back and he, he did the trick one time to prove yeah. how, and then he and then he decided to do it two times in a row. And that second attempt, he shattered through the glass and and fell all the way to his death out of the fucking oh my window. God. Um, which you know, it's to me you're like, why the why would you do that? That's and yes. then I think about me and right. friends that I have. Yeah, I'm like, I could, I would totally do that. It's sober. I, maybe I think so. Like I if it's would, unbreakable. No way. I, there's no because to me, like maybe not as far as like a window that if yeah. it were to break, I would die. Yeah. But like something that like, oh, this is super sturdy. And like get up and like mm-hmm. stomp on it in a way that you would never do to a table. Right. Ever just to prove how how strong it is. Yeah, I just yeah, I, I I can picture a lot a lot of people like I talk to um my kids about this kind of stuff all the time. Like we'll be, you know, out in nature or whatever like that, and they'll be standing on a ledge, mm-hmm. like too close to it. Or like, okay, just actually just the other week at my uh my mom's place in Idaho, and she has like this big retaining wall uh, of these stones, whatever, and Kyler's standing right on the edge facing me, and I'm like, dude, just get away from that. Mm-hmm. And and he was like, What? I'm not gonna fall. I'm like, Yeah, you're probably not gonna fall. But you know what? But if you do fall, you're going to smash the back of your fucking head in. Yeah. And then you're going to be, you know, uh, brain damaged for the rest of your life. Uh-huh. And why? Because you thought it'd be fun to stand right at the edge when there's no reason to whatsoever. <laughs> and then obviously I'm like fun killer, you know, yeah. that way. But it's like, but that kind of stuff, I always think in terms of risk reward. And so with an action like that, I'm like, okay, the reward is I bounce off and the window looked like it was supposed to or worked like it was supposed to. Mm-hmm. But and, everyone's like, ha but you're. And everyone's like, oh, that's crazy that you did that, I guess. And they right. think that you're a little like, you're a wild man. And then the the risk is I fall to my death. Maybe that's all he has. All he had. Maybe, maybe he was that, Gar- that was Gary his guy. goes home and he's he is no one respects so him. depressed. Mm-hmm. Um, his wife hates him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Things things were going well, mm-hmm. uh, but over the years they've just progressively gotten more and more uh, lonely. Maybe he's like maybe his kids, friends, dads, you mm-hmm. know, are doing like risk taking stuff and right. And his kids are like, man, you know, Bobby's dad. Yeah, you know, he he did a flip on a jet ski. Yeah, what'd you do? Right, crunch some numbers. Bobby, Bobby's dad hit a jump with the lawnmower, mm-hmm. and you don't even, you don't even have a riding lawnmower, Dad. Mm-hmm. He, he that was the point where it all flipped. Yep, he almost left. Sir. Almost left the the country. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm glad he stuck around though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But maybe that's all he has. You know what I mean? Yeah, he just no, no one. You know, he's the party he's, trick guy at work. He just yeah, I just picture him. You know, just at home at night. Just I gotta do something. <laughs> what can I'm I just, do to I'm redeem? T- I'm tired of everyone just passing me by. The world keeps moving like I'm not even here. What what can I do? I mean, I, could I start free climbing? Could I skydive? Maybe I could throw myself against. I could throw myself against the security window. Right. At he's, the next meeting. He's looking out the window at that moment, mm-hmm. thinking about what he could do, mm-hmm. and he puts his hand against it, against mm-hmm. it, all emotional. Mm-hmm. And then right, that thud. He goes, "I, I know, I know what to do." Next meeting. Next meeting. Mm-hmm. Next, <laughs> next company goals meeting. And then in his mind, he pictures himself <laughs> bouncing off it and people standing Just, up. <sighs> he did it. Gary, he, Gary, 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 he didn't die. He window threw himself guy, in the guy. window. It was so cool. <laughs> We're going to tell his kids. Can you, okay, mm-hmm. on the flip side, <laughs> right. Gary died that sad. By the way, 24th story Ooh. was where, where he smashed right on wow. through. Okay. Um, but they were given, you know, given the tour in the meeting yeah. to like show, and then he was demonstrating the window strength. Can you imagine being in that little Damn. tour where this, this guy... <laughs> Like right. bang, and then ha, ha, and then like everyone's like that's fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. And he does it again, and then he just fucking disappears and falls wow. to his death. Can you imagine being like, oh my god, this is a great work environment? I, I imagine going. Can't wait to work here. I imagine finding the company that makes that unbreakable window and going to like their Yelp, <laughs> and then just be like, listen, five stars because l- l- it didn't work, <laughs> but their commitment to quality control is unfucking paralleled. Right. Like the lengths they will go to demonstrate and find out if it's working or not. Uh huh. <laughs> I, uh, Gary gave yeah. gave him a one star. He had enough. He had enough time between the twenty fourth. As he's and falling, oh, no, no, it didn't work. Can you imagine? Indestructible, my. A- oh my god. Can you, imagine, <laughs> can you imagine? Just like he does, able to quickly able to. That's his final act. <laughs> didn't work. Didn't one work. star. And they're like, ah, and they see it. It has his name, and mm-hmm. somebody reads it. It's like that's weird. And then like, it's, he- ti- it's time stamped a second before he <laughs> right. hit the ground. And years later, like you, you're just a random person, and then you go, you come across that, and you're like that's weird. Then you find this article, you're like, what oh the my fuck? god! <laughs> like he did it. This guy <laughs> so fucking did it. Anyway, uh, yeah. so that's some dumb stuff. That's dumb. not the dumbest I've seen. Mm-hmm. Uh, we we save that for Yay. apocalypse pending. <laughs> I warned you. Yeah, about I was, this I was one. Mad. Um, 
I know. Oh, yeah. This will be a fun day. Okay. <laughs> fun day to throw this one on you. Because I know that you hate these type of people. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, I mean, I hate them, too. Huh? But you hate them uh, way more than I hate them. Mm-hmm. And uh, let's go ahead and bring it up on the screen. Zach. I was just picturing like the the, the the most messed up thing. You just throw up uh, a picture of somebody of just any non-white ethnicity. <laughs> You're like minorities, right? <laughs> well, no, I've never said that. Well, Why get, would you fucking do that? Not to me? now. Oh, you, you you didn't say that now, and you're like, God damn, it. just totally frame you. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, now's, exactly. The, now's the time to talk about no, it. No, I've never said it. that. All right, so sex addict blames scantily clad gamers on Twitch for injured penis. <laughs> oh no, is it, is it? They're suing them. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um. So now we've heard it all pile. That's where they put this in. Uh huh. A California sex addict claims it's game over for his penis because of scantily clad gamers on video game streaming site Twitch. The man is suing Twitch for twenty five million. Wow. Saying gorgeous gamers caused him to injure his penis. Eric My God. Estevio filed a lawsuit in Santa Clara County Court on June fifteenth, alleging the popular site subjected him to overly suggestive and sexual content from various female streamers. Estevio claimed he had to use a flashlight to masturbate while watching the females, which caused him to chafe his penis every day. Jesus. 25 million, right? Keep that in mind. Mm-hmm. He said this was extremely painful and caused him redness and mild infections that forced him to use Neosporin on his tip <laughs> to prevent necrosis, according to the 56 page document. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Estevio also alleges in the transcript he once ejaculated on his computer monitor, oh my which caused God. it to short circuit and result in a fire that temporarily caused his apartment to go dark. Uh, uh-huh. It just—I mean—it goes—it goes on and on. Estevio reportedly follows 786 female gamers and no male counterparts. Uh huh. He names many of the females in his lawsuit. He asks for a permanent ban on all listed streamers and the millions in punitive damages. There should How's be. How's that feel? Isn't that? Yeah, you know it. Yeah, yeah. I know. You know, I hate frivolous lawsuits so much. <laughs> I just wish. I I honestly wish that there should be punishment. For people who fought, like you risk punishment when you file a lawsuit, you file a lawsuit and then it gets, if it gets thrown into, there's like one person or whatever like that who decides if they're frivolous or not to, to their knowledge. Okay. And they, and they're like, okay, that seems frivolous. They throw it in the frivolous pile. And if you go in the frivolous pile, then there's got to be some quick committee, like a review committee that decides if it's truly frivolous or not. They, they look at it over for 20 minutes. If they decide it's truly frivolous, then you get dragged into a room. where a gang of very tough dudes. And I'm not even joking. Beat you with a fucking bat. Within an inch of your goddamn life, and then and then it's like there you go, you shouldn't right. have done that. You should. That's that it, not. It's a message, and then that message goes out on the internet, mm-hmm. and then anybody who's thinking about suing someplace, all right, well maybe you win fifteen million dollars over some bullshit, right. or maybe you get beaten with a fucking bat. Yeah, it, 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 it makes me so angry. <laughs> I know, <laughs> and, and I would volunteer to be on the swinging committee, the batting, the batting team. Right? I, oh, I would love it. <laughs> what this person? This person tried to sue for twenty because of a jerk off injury. <laughs> I'm, I'm headshots, headshots all day on this guy. Every city has just the batting team. I imagine you know your work day, your phone blows up, and it just like yeah. it's like somebody just texts you a picture of a baseball bat. I'm oh like, fuck God. yeah! You just get up, stop everything you're doing, head down to the courthouse, and just start mashing some dude. We, I would, I really wish we could pass some kind of like frivolous lawsuit because I know it can be a little gray, but that's why you have a committee. Right, some, but but I really do think it, it's like our false uh, allegation, you know, like the, the, how that can, the, the can happen too. Right, like I'm not going to name names or anything, but there's uh, I don't know any of the details, but you know I, I keep up on comics. There's been a lot of people that some really heinous allegations been made, and right. if they're true, oh my god, so terrible, they deserve uh, to have a lot of bad things happen to them. Mm-hmm. But what happens now is the allegation comes out, and then their whole career goes away, or their or somebody loses the whole business. With yeah, well, cancel no, culture, cancel culture, yeah. no due process, and this frivolous litigation is just like a it's part of that. It's, it's a part spin, of that yeah. mentality. Yeah. Where it's like, I'm going to just say that uh, this thing ruined my life, and then I get to, and then I force them to have to lawyer up and waste all this money, and then it just it just, it just hurts everybody. Mm-hmm. Everybody has to pay more insurance. Everybody has to pay higher goods costs because of jerk off fucking dickhead there. <laughs> Eric. <laughs> Eric, you know, burning the end of his dick. I mean, that guy sounds like such a waste of life. Sure does. It, it's like just laying out like you... You're you're suing somebody because you jerk off so much <laughs> that you've chafed your own dick. <sighs> and, and, and then to have the gall to not be ashamed of that mm-hmm. and to come out. If I had to put Neosporin on my dick because I beat off so much, right. I would take that to my grave. <laughs> well, I might not. I, I, I turn into a stand-up bit. Sure. But if I wasn't doing stand-up comedy, but if I, I was the comedian. Grave. If I wasn't the comedian, I would take it to my grave. Right, for sure. What the fuck? I mean, it's, it's yeah. uh yeah. Um okay. I, I mean I hope nothing comes from it. 
the the problem <sighs> that, that irks me about this the most like yeah. there's no fucking way he's gonna win this right right but if that company has to make some like internal changes because <sighs> I know, of this that's, it's it's it's, it's like whatever those changes are it's like fuck all right, right now we have to have um like a female gamer tab and a right. and a male gamer tab for fuckface because too many like, lawsuits who knows? like man. even if it means nothing you know it's yeah. gonna scare them yeah. everyone's so goddamn scared. Right. To mess up a tiny little bit and then have to deal with uh, Eric Estevillo. Yep. So many. I mean, there's another There's another one. I mean, I don't want to detour, but like there's this uh, this comic that's suing Patreon right now and having all his fans sue Patreon. Oh, wow. Because the site banned him, but the site banned him because he's a racist piece of shit. <laughs> and, and, and other social media sites have also banned him. Mm. And there's this weird thing where for a while, certain sites that weren't banning him were getting public backlash. How could you support this person? And then all of a sudden, this other site does ban him. And then now he sues them and it's going to go to court because he's claiming like, you don't have the, you're, you're infringing on my, the right to, for me to do business. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's just, uh, we're going to see so much so of that. We're going right to see now. so much of that moving forward, figuring yeah. out what these online companies are responsible are for. Responsible for. Mm -hmm. How much of, of your actions do they have to do? Can they care about, yep. or do they just have to exist? And yeah. even if your, your actions or your beliefs, or your right. morals go against anything that they have, do yeah. they have the right to get rid of you? Right. You know, like Facebook can give you bans and oh, and uh, and give you time out for, yep. for you know for breaking policies. And, and if, if Patreon doesn't have yeah. something in order, yeah. Like Facebook learned early on to have all these policies. If Patreon doesn't, yeah. they got the weather of fucking court right. storm, right? To keep going. If I if I was in charge, man, it's like uh, private companies. You have the right to kick people. It's like it's like the sign in a bar. You see, mm -hmm. we we reserve the right to re refuse service to anyone. I believe every company should have that. They don't like you, fuck you. Mm -hmm. Get out of there then. Right, right. You know, and, and and with this kind of stuff, like, you know, whose responsibilities, I lean so hard on personal responsibility. Uh, you're an idiot who couldn't figure out how to how to, how to to use a gas thing and you spilled too much and you set yourself on fire. Well, it sucks to be you. <laughs> it must be a rough life being that fucking dumb. Must be, must be a not, terrible not life the, being not, on fire all the time. Must be a terrible life. <laughs> but, it's, but it's not the, the gas container maker's problem. Yeah, you blew it for uh, sure. Uh, I've, been, I've been an angry old man since I was probably 15. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. Uh, well, let's, I think we're gonna get a little more uh, mad. Yeah, um, that was apocalypse pending. Okay, that, that was really it hurt me mm -hmm. the whole time. Though it just made like, me want to go look at gamer chicks and jerk off. Also like that, that. Yeah, I was like, oh, well, I, but I'm not gonna <laughs> Man, sue anybody. What do they got going on? Twitch? <laughs> What's going on over here? <laughs> I have been using the wrong site. Uh, you ready to take a take a dive into some reviews? I am. I okay, am. I'm ready. All right, some petty one star reviews. One star heroes. I get no respect in real life, always am upset, so I let them know I hate them on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you got for us? Well, I, this comes from a fan. Comes okay. from Cody Stevens. Oh, thanks, Cody. Cody sent into dumb is we dumb dot, dot com uh, a one star review for Yellowstone. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> oh yeah, just like I hate mm -hmm. I hate mountains. I hate beauty. That, look at that tree. It's fucking stupid. One <laughs> right. star. And they're and they're actually yeah. Just so I found some ridiculous one star reviews. Not about like amenities, but just like they just don't like the park itself. <laughs> right? Which I've been there. I've spent a week there. It's beautiful. Uh -huh. It's gorgeous. We're actually going back again in a few weeks. I think yep. Yellowstone's fantastic. Everything about it mm -hmm. is pretty amazing. Yeah, it's like a Keystone National Park for a reason. The hair on that buffalo wasn't cut the way I liked. <laughs> right. Didn't right. have a flat top. One star. This is just to show that I'm not alone okay. in the reviews here. Almost 30,000 Google reviews. Uh-huh. Five-star rating. Okay. You know? Okay, so people it's, people it's, love it. Seems to be on par with how mm -hmm. much you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, just looking at a few. Way too many elk. <laughs> From Clive Financial Crisis. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. Way too many elk uh, <laughs> in this ecosystem. Please do something about this. Me and my family will not be returning until after this problem is done. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, this guy just go in there like he thinks he's some kind of elk expert. But here's This guy what? doesn't know shit about elk. <laughs> I want, okay, new, new job. Yeah. New job listing at yellowstone.com. Right. Uh, elk bouncer. <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to have a gate. And you're gonna stand there, right? And you you count. We're only gonna mm -hmm. allow mm -hmm. 200 elk in. Yeah. After that, just shut the gate, right? And no more, no more elk. And until <laughs> until some leave, they can come and go. But it's a, yeah. it's a capacity there's thing. A, it's a capacity. Well, sorry. <laughs> 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 we well, let my friends in. Sorry, right. sorry. They have bigger antlers than and, you. <laughs> and what what prompted this? I don't know. What like he's trying to take a picture of a buffalo and like a, in the distance and an elk keeps. He's like, ah! <laughs> get out! So many shoot. elk. Shoo! God. God damn it. Where are the foxes? There's like a, a million elk. Already seen it. <laughs> yes. Already seen it, Yellowstone. Next. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's fucking... Okay. <laughs> and then this next I love one. This. Okay. L Lucinda DeFiori. It was horrible. I hated it. It was so boring. <laughs> 
Definitely do not go one star. You are boring, you're Lucinda. De- you're boring and terrible. And you're horrible. For yeah, sure. Ho- yeah, horrible. Oh, my God. The problem is you. <laughs> if you're bored in Yellowstone, then you're the problem. It's only two months ago, too. It's like prime time to yep. go to Yellowstone. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's the it boring. <laughs> oh, geysers. And elk and buffalo and bear and every other kind of animal and beautiful sunsets and <laughs> mountain ridges and pristine streams. What if she also said, too many elk? Like, <laughs> it's, a, it's a whole thing. I hope thing. you go down there this, uh, whenever it's, you go down there. And I you, come back. I'm like, yeah. okay, to be fair, there's Wait, a lot of elk. It's a ton of elk. So and elk. I, I actually, I, I see it. It could be less elk. <laughs> <laughs> so I went I went to to Yelp. All right. Where people, it's more like a TripAdvisor Google thing. Okay. But Yelp, to me, has some of the funnier reviews. So four and a half stars for Yellowstone overall mm-hmm. on, uh, on Yelp. But um, Cat C from Chicago didn't care for it. All right. Let's I see would, what Cat has to say. <laughs> I would give it zero starts if I could. <laughs> I've traveled all across the states, and this is by far the worst place I've been so far. <laughs> I think it may have to do more with personal preference and values. Values? What? Do you even know what values means? No, she doesn't. But here's what's up. So the park itself is nothing grand. There's mountains, trees, and lakes. Nothing too spectacular. <gasps> What are you expecting? A, a fucking concert? A, a, you expecting a music festival? I don't know. The one thing that makes this place different from other parks is the geysers. I was extremely underwhelmed. Oh. They look so much better in the pictures. <laughs> if you want a similar look, just boil a pot of water at home. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Another issue is the lack of cell phone service. There is little to absolutely no service. Wi-Fi is available in select area. Yeah, and then it just, you know, petty things about, like, technology. Unbelievable. Uh, oh, my fo- God. The food here sucks. The hot lunches at my school are better. Uh, I refuse to eat several times on this trip due to <laughs> lack of variety. I hate this person. Oh, yeah. Refuse to eat. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you decide to come here for God knows what reason, please come with your friends, not your family. Okay, you hate your family as well. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be stuck in a prehistoric world with nothing to do and annoying tourists left and right. So you oh, might as well man. come with people you like. Oh, man. This person is this- just... Okay, so but uh, and, this you know is what? like this is the person. This is the reason I can't. I I don't right now anyway mm-hmm. live in a fucking city. Okay, I love being right. able to be like all right over it and just go like five feet. Yeah, and be around mm-hmm. nobody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I mean, I love people. I like right. being around just, people. Just not the cat sees. No, I just can't. Like mm-hmm. I have to have that. And, and I, she hates right. that. She mm-hmm. ha- a mm-hmm. complete opposite. She just didn't. Doesn't and, understand it, and I get hating it. Mm-hmm. But then don't come, don't. Why don't would you ever? <laughs> yeah, I get your parents made you go to Yellowstone, uh-huh. and you're a brat. Mm-hmm. You're a fucking huge brat, mm-hmm. and 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 you didn't have a good time. So leave a one star on your parents' whiteboard, right. your race board. Right, right. One star. I don't like the trip you took me on. You have to be which so still makes you a dick. But so like, dense to not understand uh, what is so special about Yellowstone, right? Yeah. Just, the I, mountains were tiny. And it turns out she was just like 50 <laughs> miles away. Right. right <laughs> the right. geyser was like this big. Now, now this this next one star, it's the way it was written. Okay. This Just the way this guy chose to write, he is so melodramatic and so uh, like unbelievably punchable. <laughs> like this My guy, favorite. Mm-hmm, James B. Okay. writes, let me begin by saying that my girlfriend and I expected this park to be one of the highlights. Nay, oh, the man. crowning jewel. In our 10-day road trip to the Western States, we were horribly, terribly, tragically disappointed. Right there, I want to throw this person off of something tall. I'll throw him into Old Faithful. I want to throw him into Old Faithful. That's where I want him to go. It's like this person, I couldn't stand hanging out with this person for 30 seconds. Get your floaty. You're nay. <laughs> no, I expect, thank you. I expect to be the great, nay, the crowning jewel. <laughs> Punch face. Pow. See ya. <laughs> On our way in at 9 a.m., we excitedly paid the $25 entrance fee. Okay. As much as it pained, pained, he meant to say pained, but pained, oh no, he did say, I, I'm, okay. I, I'm an idiot. Right. I thought he wrote painted. As much as it pained us to do so and drove into the developed area for a map and a bathroom break. The sad excuse of a visitor center is a rundown cramped stone building original to the park's founding, which is poorly outfitted for modern duties. Okay. The interior desk space was cramped, and to <laughs> use the bathrooms, one must embark embark on a steep, unsteadily descent to the stinking, semi-flooded basement. The rangers therein were unfriendly and, frankly, rude. Mm-hmm. 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 I feel like this person's wearing a monocle while they're writing this. <laughs> yeah. Looking back now... Walking though, around Yellowstone in a fucking three-piece. <laughs> Yellowstone I doth my hat and bid you adieu. Scoff. And just <laughs> kick some dirt. And it goes on for like seven paragraphs. Oh my God. Of the same attitude. That is unbelievable. Mm-hmm. It, oh. It kill it's so uh, it's so um upsetting mm-hmm. to just know that that that, that these type of attitude. people exist that you can't see it. 
Yeah. You can't see the beauty. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I find the beauty in some fucking dumb backyard, let alone Yellowstone. Right, right. <laughs> you just, how can you not feel like the, the connectivity and, to the right. world around you without constantly yep. having a screen yep. in your fucking mm-hmm. face? And, and then just when, you, when somebody does something like this, I'm like, this isn't about the place. This is about you thinking you're some wannabe writer. And, and you're like, look at my little novella I will write about why no one should go to Yellowstone. Just go fuck yourself. <laughs> it, it, this yeah. is the perfect example for you, we, us yeah. to take, or I guess more you. Yeah. But we take notes on what they're talking about because right. you're going to go there. Right. Um, it's like, it, oh, yeah. see, see how steep this climb is to this bathroom. Right, right. Talk to some rangers. Mm-hmm. See if they're fucking dicks. I'll check in. And then we'll, we'll come back and we don't know what episode that'll be, but. A couple weeks from now, I'll have great to things to say about Yellowstone. <laughs> I anticipate. Or you agree. You're like, or I agree. You come back and you go, I have it. What if I talk like that after I come back from Yellowstone and then it changed me? <laughs> Joe, I I find in my heart that I must embellish. I don't even know what, how to <laughs> yeah. speak that way. Yeah, but you'll learn. <laughs> I'll learn. You'll learn. The elk will teach you. Okay, one quick guy at okay. the end. This guy, it's his other reviews that really killed me. Okay. So he gives a one star to Yellowstone, Yellowstone this uh, Brian K., all right. And then he says, very scenic. However, you can see the same all around this area. Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, all great. And they don't cost 30 bucks to get into. Traffic's terrible. Roads are not in good shape. Sites to see like geysers have little tiny parking lots. No, they don't. <laughs> Spent whole day in park and only saw some bison. Well, I don't know how you did that because I've seen hundreds. Mm-hmm. Saw moose, deer, et cetera, outside of park. The lodge gift shops, etc., are all busy and expensive. That's just a negative piece. Of <laughs> me, me, me. Didn't see rangers or staff or other than at a cash register. Keep your money and drive to other places in the state. Okay. So you're like, all right. He didn't have a good experience. He hates everything. Mm-hmm. This next review invalidates anything this person would ever say to me. <laughs> he gives a one star to Denny's. <laughs> of course. He one stars Denny's. Now check this out. Can't give them a zero. 8 a.m. on a Sunday, early for this town. It's a Vegas, uh, oh, right. Vegas Denny's. Right. Seemed busy, but after we got seated, we realized they're just slow. Everyone. Servers, bussers. Apparently, the kitchen is ridiculous. Their menu is not a typical Denny selections, or it doesn't have typical Denny selections. Mm-hmm. And if you ever get it, don't bother eating. Cold, overcooked, and dry. Oh, you name it, and it was bad. Dry omelet, overcooked and cold eggs, hash browns, raw bacon, pretty and pretty toasty pancakes. <laughs> That's a weird... And pretty toasty pancakes. <laughs> Ooh, oh, my. <laughs> Best part of the meal was the fresh strawberries and the cup of coffee. Did I mention it was overpriced, too? <laughs> Denny's? Please go anywhere but this location. I The overpriced thing? Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. You can see the, the menu is in the entrance. It's in the <laughs> lobby. Yeah, it's also fucking Denny's. And it's Denny's! <laughs> this, is like, this is like someone going to Taco Bell and be like, Okay, if you want to just burn all your money... <laughs> Getting get double decker tacos half out it, I guess. It's like they just whip this burrito together in five <laughs> seconds. It's like no one cares what they're doing back there. There was no maitre d greeting me when I came in. They didn't have a place setting. There was no candles on the table. If that's how you want to run your taco r- restaurant, I guess. No oh, thanks, Taco Bell. Overpriced and stupid. Five bucks for a box. And then and then look at this and I'm like what is it? who is Brian K last thing for YouTube viewers oh, yeah. of course oh that's yeehaw. Brian K on his big old Harley and, and this nothing against Harley riders no. honestly but thi- but there's this guy this yeah this there's, particular mm-hmm. look he's got his cut he's got his boots he's got the whole look and he just looks like the, the way he it looks like he's out in uh, uh Utah I can't remember the on name the flats. on the flats yeah, the salt the salt flats yeah 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 mm-hmm. and, and and just that whole thing of like I'm so fucking tough. Bet, I'm the coolest dude ever. No way. I mean, maybe somebody was there to take that picture. Right. A lot of money tells me it's a tripod. Tripod. Because mm-hmm. no one likes him. And he's wearing a cut. There's no way he's in a motorcycle gang. <laughs> nope. No, no one would want to. They, 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 get, they, they speed up. Like they, mm-hmm. the rest of his gang mm-hmm. that he, he's in, like, are bobbing traffic, just trying to get the fuck <laughs> away from him. <laughs> he's like, could we lose him yet? God damn it. I would love it if he could one star his <laughs> motorcycle <laughs> gang. <laughs> I'm so sick of guys driving too fast. They never meet where we agree to. <laughs> they know I can't turn that quick. <laughs> they do not return my texts. <laughs> they will not let me in the clubhouse. <laughs> Every time I come, I hear the door lock. I hear music inside, and they pretend not to be home. I know you're there. They act just like my family and friends. Why am I surrounded by assholes? One star. One star. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Okay. That was great. Okay, good. I loved all of that. I feel. I feel better. I feel. I feel way better. Are we, are we moving on? Yeah, we can Should move on. look at some good stuff. Let's look at some or good, a good stuff. thing. Let's look at good things. All right, sliver of hope. Sliver of hope. It's just so majestic, that opening. It makes me feel uh, happy and, I mean, powerful. 
I want to. I want to. I know I've said so many hateful things. It just makes me look forward to like. Okay, I get to kind of right cleanse some away and okay. say nice things. Uh, this is cute. You're a parent, um, mm-hmm. which will add to the cuteness of all of this. But okay. this really cheered me up. Zach, go ahead and bring it on the on the screen here. Family buy secondhand caravan and discover hidden message left for them inside. What? This is fun. This is a fun one. Okay. So a family who bought the care fi- or the caravan discovered a heartwarming note left for them by one of the previous owners. Uh huh. As they prepared to head out on their first adventure. A family from Brisbane found a handwritten message left in one of the drawers from a 10-year-old girl named Poppy. Aww. It was hidden away next to her bunk bed along with the white bracelet and was addressed to anybody who took over the caravan from her own family. The message read, are you uh-huh. ready? Yeah, yeah. Hi, my name is Poppy and I am 10 years old. This used to be our caravan and we traveled half of Australia in it. This was my bed, the top bunk, and it was very good. This draw, which is where uh, which is where you found this letter, was where I keep all my special things we went traveling with. I hope that you enjoy this caravan very much. I am in grade five, and I have a message for you. Follow your dreams, and if you have the choice between being right or being kind, choose kind. Aww. Enjoy this caravan. That is, I How love cute her. Is that? Uh, if you have the choice between being right and be kind, be kind. Give me a little, like, little. Is that what she said? Yeah. Be right. Uh, yeah. If you have a choice between being right or being kind, choose kind. It's a feel, good lesson. I feel like if I follow that lesson too closely, I have to. I wouldn't be able to do the show anymore. No, you never get shit done either. Because I feel like on the last segment, I was right, <laughs> but not kind. No. Poppy, Poppy would have never, but, but po- Poppy would have never said what I said, but Poppy also would have never left those one star reviews. Absolutely not. No way. But that was, I, I, I even, even oh, again now, Poppy. like I read that, you just get a little goosebumps. Mm-hmm. Looks a cute little, little thing that uh, I hope my Aww. kids do something like mm-hmm. that. And it did remind me of when we remodeled our kitchen. Yeah. Um, I purposely hid a bunch of bogus shit in my walls mm-hmm. so that whoever remodels my house at some point later in the future will find them. Was it nice stuff or was it mean stuff? Uh, one of them is a really funny picture that Pepper had drawn of Erin. It looks like she just has a <laughs> raging boner, which is supposed to be her leg, but it's hilarious. just a gigantic that's, cock that's instead. Yeah. And then just some other funny shit that like some trinkets, like guitar pick, just kind of oh, threw them all on the wall and, and then covered it all up. Yeah. So someone yeah. will find that's it. That's fun. That's fun. I think, yeah, I think we wrote a little message in there too. Like just uh, something like, hi, you know, this is the Paisley family. Hope yeah, we, you know, that is cool. That hope is you enjoy cool. this house, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I like Poppy. I like you, Poppy. So Thank you. you. See if you have that attitude 20 fucking years, but whatever. <laughs> good luck keeping that up. You, good luck, good luck you, keeping that outlook. You ignorant little kid. <laughs> you have no idea how dumb this world is. <laughs> I hope she does. I hope she keeps it her whole life. I know. Poppy, we love you. Uh, all right, let's, uh, let's take a look at some stuff I just couldn't not show you in a segment called To You From Internet. The internet has all sorts of neat things. Anything you want can be yours. Let's take a peek, together, as a couple. To you, from internet. That together as a couple, I don't know if that'll ever not make me happy. <laughs> I don't know, it's so creepy. I do love it too. When a robot says it, I'm like... Together, as a couple. <laughs> as a couple. Um, I pulled this off of CNN. Zach, you can go ahead and bring it up on the screen here. This is a blockbuster Airbnb. Did okay. you see this popping around the web yet? No. So you can and should eat popcorn in bed at this one-of-a-kind Airbnb located in Bend, Oregon. This rental has everything. Sofa bed, free snacks, a VCR, and a big TV. Yes, you can sleep over at the world's last blockbuster video store. That's awesome. Look how fun that is. Since 2004, store manager, who would be super host, Sadie Harding, has run the uh, operation or has run yeah. the operation in the spirit of the time when blockbuster stores and their laminated rental card and late fees were part of the culture of vernacular when everyone was encouraged to make it a blockbuster night. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you can go go there and rent it out. It's super cheap too. Um, I forget the price off the top of my head, but uh, but I'll find it as we're as we're looking through here. Yeah. But it, it's a uh, Oh my God! They, it's imagine? actually yeah. VCRs. Yeah. It's like all the super old equipment. They've I love got it. the the cases for the movies, like all that. All that stuff to throw you back in that time when you actually had to go somewhere to get a fucking movie. I love. I, I've heard Bend is. I haven't been to Bend in about ten years. Yeah, but Bend it was super cool a long time ago, and I heard it just keeps getting cooler. That is so fun. I know. Good for them. Yeah. What a great repurposing. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, trying to nostalgia. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Make it a, make it a fun trip for for uh-huh. everybody involved. Then you get to explain. Then your kids will really see how old you are. <laughs> right. Right. You, you, you've been explaining like, well, back in my day, mm-hmm. we had to go rent a movie. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Then you just oh, go you go show them. You can figure out voice command, but let me see. You worked out VCR. <laughs> right. VCR. <laughs> uh, eject tape. Come on, VCR. <laughs> Just shoots it in your fucking face. <laughs> hits, ow! Hits in the grill. That uh, was cool. That I was got, cool. And I got another one to show you here. Okay. Um, we both, I mean, I like Elon Musk, and I feel like you I do, do too. too. Yeah, I love him. Big fan. Um, and he did this. Zach, I, I'm ready for it. If you got it uh, on the screen here. It uh, says that goat mimicking horn sounds are definitely coming to the Tesla fleet. That's so fun. So I don't know. And 
It's one of those things that I've never really thought about. about why the why does a car horn yeah. sound like the car horn that it is? Right. Why is it like why? Yeah. Why, why is that? Can, what we all, I know it's it's alarming. You can customize ringtones. Why can't you customize horns? Your car horn? Yeah, I mean, like a, like a ding, 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 ding. It's like more pleasant, but yeah. also probably more alarming and probably way less annoying. Just a yeah. yeah. So, so why not have it be a goat? So he, so he's he's gonna have like this uh yeah like mm-hmm. like like that that noise as an option. Yeah. I wonder if you have to get him approved by the DMV or something. Uh, maybe. You know, there's, I wonder if there's some governmental process to approve like what. Horn, like sounds can come out of a uh, of a vehicle. I bet there is. <laughs> I mean, I, that, fuck that. I, what if that's a law somewhere? It should just be the riot. I'm going to burn down the government building. <laughs> it should just be decibels. Like as long <laughs> yeah. as, as long as it falls in a certain decibel range, <laughs> then the sounds whatever it wants. And then I guess you could risk you know getting kind of disturbing the peace right. if you choose to put something you know more like profane. Like, beat it, you dumb fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's you know? super Someone, loud. It's, like a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a whispery, but it's really loud. He's like, please move. But it's like, you know, aggressively loud. Dude. Puts it out of my way. I I would have that old, what is that, ludicrous? Move, bitch. Get out the way. Get Get out out the way. way. (laughs) I can have the best You might get a ticket for that. (laughs) But why not have it be the the sound of a a goat? In 2019, the automaker automaker CEO, Elon Musk, tweeted that the new horn features were in work such as goat noises and fart noises. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. He said in October, the company hadn't mentioned the update since then. However, this past Friday... A follow on Twitter asked Musk if the horn development is still underway, and Musk confirmed that newer versions of the electric cars will make bleeding noises to alert the car up ahead. Um, Funny. Will only be on relatively recent cars, as we didn't have the outside speaker until about a year ago, can change inside sound easily. Um, and it's just one of those things. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't know why no one's ever thought about it. Right, right. Uh, why do we all just accept yeah. the, the horn for meep, what meep. the horn is and, and not look for something different? That's great. But I'm glad that I'm glad that we are. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. love it. I love it. I hope this yeah. is the first of many, uh, you know, animal sounds to come. Mm-hmm. Neighing, bark, a lion roar. But why not? <laughs> why not? Just, just... I want. I want a horn to the muffin or baby. What is it? <laughs> muffin or baby. What is it? Show me the babies. Where's the muffins? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can switch it up I, mm-hmm. that, uh, on a rotator. Customize it. Yeah, like a like a, like a shuffle playlist. Of just you. It's a surprise to you too. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I, I, I throw in nice ones and mean ones. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. Uh, like it might be like, thank you. You look pretty. But also you're like, suck my dick, mm-hmm. and you don't know. So maybe like a, like really? a family's crossing, it's like, have a good day, mm-hmm. and you're going to take a gamble, and you might push it and be like, hope you die. Right, right. That's, right. A, ga- that's a game I'm willing to play in public. Have presets. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So you can just quickly shuffle between the, <laughs> the sounds that you want to come out of your car. You never have to talk to this anybody ever again. This is great. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a great way to live your life. Mm-hmm. I'm so looking now, forward. Now, now, earlier, I hated some technology stuff mm-hmm. we were talking about. All for this. To the future. To the future. To the future, my to friend. The future. To the future. Uh, let's wrap things up. You ready? Okay, I'm ready to wrap okay. things up. As Had always, a fun time. yeah, that was, that was a blast. Episode four in the books. Thanks to Zach Cohen mm-hmm. for creating some custom music beds for the show. Thanks to Logan and Kate at Spicy Club for continuing to bump out the or pump out the best merch in the podcast game. Managing our social media accounts again. That uh-huh. is is we dumb. Instagram, Facebook, whatever you want. Yes. Zach Flannery, producing, directing. Thank you, Zach. Thank you. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook. Like I said, if you want to send over anything. That is content for mm-hmm, later, like mm-hmm. going into a segment. Yeah. You do that to dumb at isbedumb.com. Anything else, you have a question for us, uh, you send that to info mm-hmm. at isbedumb.com. You can get merch. You also go to isbedumb.com, Bad Magic merch. It's all there. And we said earlier in the show, yeah. people are getting the threads, and we appreciate yeah, that. Thank you so much. Yeah, we'll have some new uh, designs hitting the store, I'm sure, in the in the, in the coming weeks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Bad Magic Productions. You get alerted every time we drop content for Time Suck mm-hmm. and Scared to Death. And is we dumb? It's all rolled into the same package yeah, on YouTube. Yeah. Um, and it's a it's a beautiful supporting family we have there. Um, yeah. So go rate and review. Thank you. Thank that's you. Pretty, that's thanks pretty much what ones, it's all about. Yeah. Thanks for the ones you've already been doing. We're getting tons of ratings and reviews, and it helps a ton. Yeah. Head on there and give it. We uh, we appreciate all of the. Uh, it is. A, I don't even know what the percentage is. Mm-hmm. It's got to be over eighty percent of all of them, even five star reviews. Where it's like, love it wouldn't change a thing. Three out of five stars. I love it. <laughs> So weird. So great. It's so good. It's got to so be confusing. so confusing. Mm-hmm. I was like, the, people pop in like, what? what? This is just the weirdest, <laughs> weirdest group of people yeah. I've ever met in my life. Yep. Uh, ready to close things out? Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, do the, <laughs> the wow, neat fact. Wow. Neat fact. All right. Now, before we do this one, Dan, I'm yeah. going to ask you to, you got to pull out um, one ear, just one ear. Real okay. Quick, okay. And then, uh, then I'll explain. Okay. All right, Zach, go ahead and bring it up on the screen. Zach, bring it on the fuck. Did you know? If you put your finger in your ear and scratch, it sounds just like Pac-Man. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it fucking kills me. <laughs> ah!
Bye, everybody. Bye.